Hi, this is Concrete Seven. I came back for you. This time I want to show you Laravel DB Cedar class. Well, what is DB Cedar class? When I when we develop a application using Laravel, then sometimes we need some dummy data. Mm, manually we insert uh, we go to the database then insert data it's sometimes weird situation it's wasting your time then laravel think for you actually for you you develop fastly and don't go a manually database put some data to test your application then you Laravel create a class for you. I mean us. Let's go get started to see our Laravel DB sitter class. So here is a fresh Laravel. I set up a database called Lara new and also credential. Uh, then I set up run a location and here is my browser, here is a fresh Laravel installation. So get started. When we need used to db cedar class then we follow the we follow some couple of steps at first as you know you create a controller and perspective model then you know that you need a migration file for the model and then when it's two things is complete then you need a factory class what is factory class i want to show you later when you factory class is created then you need a cedar class that's it when these all steps are complete then you run your migration and uh, run your command db seed then you running your development with some dummy data so get started i deleted that file we don't need that some created for dummy purpose you at first we go app controller here you can see here is uh, there is no controller but one model is here called user model and we go databases folder and here three things factories migration seeds factories is which data to be inserted here one sample file uh, if we see the user migration use user migration has name email and password then factory name email password and also remember token Okay, migration complete and here once more called seeds here okay that's that enough so at first we create a user controller here is a user model we need a user controller so php artisan make controller 
teachers controller it is make resource controllers okay created users controller users controller okay and users models okay then i want to create another controller called posts controller post controller this one is also resource controller post controller created create a make model post model and i also create a migration file for this post model migration file are created okay that's great so first one things done controller created and post model created so at first we declare first those controller users says users are resource controller i want to all users from users and return response users okay we need to include this user model here user controller complete then we need post controller at first we include the post model okay then we return all post here actually not created by i will create it later return response some type of error post okay this controller are complete also these two controller we need to set route first we set route because this some kind miss missing hoy missing letter route resource here all users controller and here post controller to post that's great your route setting is complete uh, post controller set is complete and user controller setup complete okay uh, post model the best practice is at a protected property called table user <coughs> sorry post table and also users this is a best practice okay post model and user model are complete then we go to database folder at first see set up our migration what column we will need users 
we leave that as well as username, email and password also remember token we have nothing to change here post migration post migration we need add string says title and post has a body so we have two columns title and body okay then migration are complete okay two migration we have already done then this post table title and body what kind of data will be inserted we defined here factories factories one sample for user already okay we don't need to touch anything here uh, when I add extra column on our user table then we add here okay then we create a another class for post table so how we will create that mm, actually I want actually I will copy that and created a class name like uh, post factory dot PHP file and then paste you can but Laravel says you may create a factory using php artisan command php artisan make factory as well as same for other model and controller also migration then make factory then factory name so user factory already has I want to create a post factory post oops, post factory okay here here little thing if we hit enter then it will be created you see that okay created if I s we saw the file here everything is okay but here is a model now what kind of model which model for this file so we manually add here app slash this post factory associate with this post model so here app dot post you we have manually add this in another way we don't have use manually we and once again go back for this command php artisan make factory factory then add a flag called model model equals to models equals to models name post here factory this part associate with your model class and this is a factory for naming convention or this is a model then we hit enter this time we don't need to add manually post okay user post factory are created then which kind of data we will insert first we will insert title 
then must of course we use pickers picker class title mm, which kind of title we want so you you have any confusion then go to the figure laravel figure laravel figure is grow this year a git repository here a list of figure if you want to use here is name here is address and so many text blah 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 so i want to title here sentence six word include this sentence this should be produced this so i want to copy this figure and paste it here okay this title is complete so we need to body figure body I need some like a paragraph so here is paragraph this produce this type of paragraph I copy this okay and paste it here paste it here here three sentence okay so where factory is done then we need a sitter so one things cedar has one database cedar file um, actually i will talk about this on later at first we created two cedar class for each factories class uh, factories class uh, factory folder has two class user factory and post factory these two class needs here to cedar class if we insert to both of the table so we create to cedar class laravel also has php artisan make cedar here <coughs> first we create users table cedar here is the name this one associate with your table and this is a naming convention for cedar class users table cedar hit enter that's great created cedar class and we need another one called post table cedar class hit enter that's great we have found another one so at first we defined user here is a user class here is a function called run we need to define a function or call a function that call this factory this function called factory factory here argument is first argument is a model here is a user cedar associate with user model class then how many data we want to insert in user table this time we need 10 
then another function called create okay user cedar is complete then go post factory factory defined post plus and how many post we want to insert say 10 post create function called good everything is good so finish our task we created a controller for each model and migration are defined and factory are created and cedar class declare so let's run php artisan migrate don't forget to hit the migrate at first we need to migrate our database tables so php artisan migrate oops We need to rerun our server and check things again. Post users, everything is done. So, PHP artisan migrate. Oops. My database is also not clear fresh. This is previously added some table. We want to delete those first. This is a fresh database we need. So once again clear screen. Okay. Then we need to first migrate. Migration is complete. Okay. Then we need to hit PHP artisan db seed. Here I know you are artisan command, you know very well. This is a db cedar artisan command php artisan db seed this command will hit this file database cedar database cedar then run this function well our two files here but we not yet included so we need to first include it here when single file then it is a single parameter argument if we multiple file then we a straight array okay then user plus table cedar and we want to we need to add post table cedar okay here something i want to tell you this is a order base which if this one is first uh, we'll execute this table first and then this okay 
then we'll save it and then we hit this command looks everything is great great seeding is complete then if you check your database here your databases and here create user 10 and post 10 I don't want to see like this I want to see here because I we set route first say here is users see all of users and here is post see all of your post so we have successfully created database seeder okay just one minute to recap we first create a controller then create a controller specific model then created migration for each model then when migration are complete then which data will be inserted on perspective migration table this setup on our factory folders called factory class and when factory class are finished then created we seeder class how many seed we need it defined here and then seeder class add to the database seeder file finally we run migration and php etc i want to show you one more thing if you need to add a specific seeder class you don't want to everything called all file you want a specific seeder class called so uh, i want to here is migration rollback Okay, rollback is complete. No, database is not found. Okay, then here once again migrate or migration. Okay, no data. I want to create just post table migration post table seeder so php artisan this time db seed add a second flag called class class equal here your class name post table cedar okay second flag class post table cedar then we we'll hit okay that's it gives us only one class okay that's great thanks for watching if you like this video please like this video and please subscribe my channel it's a beginner for me and if you subscribe my channel i will inspire and get better for next time so thank you